Hey guys, good morning. Today is the 7th, December 7th, which is the anniversary of the Pearl Harbor attack. And uh, so, uh, uh, if any of you have watched me for very long, you know I'm super patriotic. So, uh, definitely take a time out today to, it, you know, uh, reflect on what all happened and to, you know, remember all the people who died and uh, be thankful for the people who helped get our country through that time and all that jazz. But I'm gonna skip off of that now. <laughs> Cause I know some people are a little touchy about stuff like that. But anyways, um, it is, it's about 20 to 11. I got up pretty early this morning um, cause there were some local craft fairs around me and I had to go to the post office. And today the post office closes at noon. I hate, I hate that they do that on Saturdays, but I understand. <laughs> but um, so I went by the craft fairs. I ended up going to three. I only knew of two, but when I was at one, there was another one across the street. So I was like, okay. <laughs> but uh, ever since I did my craft fair, uh, earlier this year I've been super into craft fairs I never really been to many of them before that but now I I appreciate them more <laughs> because I was a vendor there and uh, I love having things other people made uh, I really love having things that people made for me because that's more special but I love having handcrafted things from anybody and uh, I love finding stuff like that at their stores and uh, yard sales and stuff too but so I got some goodies I'm gonna show you I also got some mail I haven't opened it yet I'm actually gonna open it on the camera today <laughs> because after I got my mail I've been driving and uh, stuff like that Jesse's in the living room hanging out. And I did want to mention also about my, my phone. I record on my phone. And it's iPhone 6, so it's pretty old. <laughs> and um, I dropped it the other day, and the microphone kind of messes up. And if I just barely touch it while I'm recording, it makes a really loud noise. And um, I've noticed that in a few of my newer videos that it's kind of annoying. <laughs> and um, But I have a new phone ordered. Uh, there was actually, oh, the cat just went by. But there was a really good rollback around Black Friday for iPhones. <laughs> And I got an iPhone 8 because I can't afford like the new ones. I wish I could. <laughs> but um, it's going to have better qu quality, hopefully, camera and microphone and all that. And it's supposed to come next Friday, which is Friday the 13th. <laughs> but um, so hopefully the second half of Vlogmas will um, be a little bit better quality and we'll have those random noises if I accidentally touch the camera. <laughs> but um, anyways, I wanted to say that real fast. But I want to show you what I all bought today. The f there was one craft fair at a church that we have here. They do it every year. Uh, it's called Christ Point Church. I'm not sure what kind of church it is. But uh, they have a big, like, reception room that they had it in. And they had a bunch of people. And me, personally, when I go to craft fairs, I go to look at craft booths. I walk right past people selling paparazzi and those essential oils and anything like that. Because I'm not there to buy stuff like that. I hate that those booths are even allowed in craft fairs. I understand that the people got to make money, too. But it's a craft fair. And if it's marketed as a craft fair, it needs to be crafts <laughs> things that people actually made and um i hate when you go to a craft fair and it's 90 percent um what is it called direct sales people i hate that anyways this one had a lot of those but i walked right past them i'm gonna show you the crafting ones there were no crochet booths at any of the three that i went to today there were random crochet items but no crochet booths and i actually stood there and talked to a woman about kim um from this one when i went and meet, met her at the it was called Santa's workshop she did Santa's workshop too, but she's a sewing lady, and she was talking about Kim. <laughs> so if you're watching this, Kim, um, you're you know you're getting out there. You know people know about you. <laughs> but she said that Kim did really good there, and that she sold all kinds of cool. She was trying. She didn't know what they were called because she was a sewer. And uh, I was telling her they were amigurumis, and that that's what I mostly make too. That I crochet. I had my crochet hat on, and I got lots of compliments for it. <laughs> but um, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. But she was she had all kinds of sewing stuff so i bought from her i bought a christmas ornament let me find it all oh, right here i'm not sure if she made this i'm guessing she did because it's at her booth but she had a lot of sewing stuff that have i uh, had i not been learning to sew better i would have probably bought a lot she had a lot of she had drawstring bags actually had like half the size of mine for ten dollars kind of like sock size bags but i'll take this tag off because she had it tagged with a safety pin but i bought this christmas ornament because i love christmas ornaments for four dollars it's like a felt one and it's got um french knots it's like embroidered i guess and then french knots it's ice skate <laughs> she had this one and she had one that was a french horn i was trying to find a nutcracker ornament that was handmade because i wanted to give it to my sister because she collects nutcracker stuff but i couldn't find it, and there was no nutcrackers there was snowmen everywhere but i just thought this was super cute i love hockey i know this is like a figure skating skate but uh you know it's close enough i love hockey and uh I think I would love ice skating if I ever had the chance to do it. Every now and then random ones pop up here around winter, but it's not real ice skating. It's like some kind of plastic stuff. It's like self-healing. You you just, you know, it's not the same. It's not ice. 
Oh, that's so cute. It's just a little felt and she embroidered it. I love these French knots because it gives it texture. It's just so pretty. But that was four dollars. And I, I, I think that stuff like that's worth it. <laughs> and then at the same craft fair, this this craft fair, the things I'm showing you was at our American Legion building, which uh, is for like the veterans. It was the veterans. Like, I think the people who had the tables were veterans or spouses of veterans. And I bought that one there. What else did I buy from that? Yeah. I bought this Christmas one because I love uh, I love me some cardinals. This woman also had um, painted eggs. Like, they were like chicken eggs that she had painted as ornaments. And then she also has a painted ostrich egg that was really pretty. I think it had a nativity scene on it. I didn't look at it all because I was afraid to touch it. But she's actually giving that away. Anyone who bought anything from her today gets put in a raffle. And then tonight, after the fair's over, she's going to draw a name and hope I win. Because it's an ostrich egg. But I bought this ornament from her. It's plastic, I think. A cardinal. I think that's so cute. I don't know if she painted that on there. I'm assuming she did because all her other stuff was like um, boxes and stuff painted. But it's like the image is on the back side of this and then there's like a, a white sticker <laughs> uh, keeping it, you know, safe or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how she did that, but it's pretty. And I bought it because it was only $2. And I thought that was super cheap for a cute ornament. And then also at that same craft fair, I bought two more ornaments. These are super cheap. These are only a dollar each. I can't believe somebody will sell stuff that they make for so cheap. Oh, actually, I lied. This one's $3. That's still cheap for a hand-painted. This is a little wooden snowman that's hand-painted. It's got little buttons glued on it for his nose and his buttons. <laughs> but it's hand-painted on both sides. And it was only $3. So I had to buy this one. His little face was so cute. They had a bunch of these little snowmen. Some of them were still wood color with just uh, you know hats and scarves and stuff. But I had I saw this little white one and I was like, I got him. Look at his little face. <laughs> so cute. And then from the same person, I bought this one for my father-in-law. Because he is a mosaco guy. This was a dollar. And it's if it's like a piece of material with some twine glued on it and a Harley Davidson. It looks like a sticker. But it's still super cute. I know it's super easy to craft. I probably could have made my own. But, um, you know, I like supporting crafters. This was $2, but they had it marked down to a dollar. But I think it's cute. And I think my father-in-law would like it. So, All right. And the last thing I bought at that craft fair were some microwave bow cozies. And I know I'm going to be making some soon. But, uh, like I said a few minutes ago, I like supporting other crafters. And, um... I'm not going to be making my own for a while until Devin's on Christmas break, and that's the end of December. And I kind of wanted to get these ones to see if this was a good size for the ones I'm going to make. And uh, she had a bunch of random ones, so I picked out two totally random ones. Um, this pretty floral one. It's floral on the outside, and the inside's like brown uh, stars. Just cute. And then this one, I, I had to buy this one because it reminded me of the 90s. <laughs> it looks like like the 90s like those little cups that you get at random gas stations or taco bell the way you, the colors that talk about the old taco bell <laughs> and then it's got just like a neutral but these are super cute and she had them um, five five dollars each or two for eight which i thought was a really good deal and then actually i went two tables down and when a younger woman because <laughs> the the women that at this table were like older uh i don't want to say elderly but you know they were they were probably like in their 60s and 70s uh older ladies is what I'm trying to say. I don't want to be offensive. But they had a whole stack of these for five dollars each or two for eight. And then the young girl that was like my age or younger even she looked younger than me. She had um ten dollars each or two for fifteen. Same exact they looked exactly the same. They were more modern prints but I was like but I'm super excited to use these and uh this is gonna be well I guess they're both mine. Because <laughs> Devin I don't want to film one he's a floral one. He's not really weird like that but I love this one this is my favorite one had she had two like this I would have bought two like that but she didn't she had a bunch of random ones I imagine it was like her scrap um pieces for making bigger projects because she had table runners and pillowcases and stuff like that too but that's everything I bought at the American Legion building craft fair which that's the one I didn't even know was there I went to that one at the church and that's the one that I went across the street from it and I guess they were taking advantage of um the traffic flow and then I went to the one at the church, and they were mostly direct sales, so I didn't spend much time at all in there. I did buy two things. 
from a paper crafter. Let me get all that. This stuff, when I saw it, it reminded me of Marsha from Made by Marsha Mom. Marsha. Uh, because she makes a lot of paper craft things. But this is a kid activity kit. It's got stickers and coloring sheets and some crayons. And it's got fish on it, which we all love here. We always heard the crayon stuff. I got this because I got a box of stuff kind of like this. Um, to pull out when Jesse needs distracting or when we go, like when we went to the hotel the other day, we took some of it with us for the car ride and at the hotel and at restaurants and stuff. We always like to have stuff like this <laughs> in our bag to pull out when he is uh, starting to act like a toddler. <laughs> so uh, I got this, I thought it was cute. And it was $2, I didn't think it was bad at all for a little handmade thing. And I can always reuse the little sleeve, you know, put more stuff in. And then this other one, I'm gonna open it real fast because it's uh, closed up. This was also two dollars. It came with a pen, a green pen, and it's a little notebook. Um, it's just paper crafted, you know. She just put paper on it. The whole thing's made out of like cardstock, and it's got a cute ribbon on it. And she said these are refillable, so after you use the paper in it, you can put more paper in it. And it's just got little notebooks that slide, slide in a pocket. Grass and Dookie He did. Dang. Then. Betty said, let's do this. He said, let's do this. Yeah, he's going to play challenge four. He is? Wow, that's so cool. I thought this was cute. I did get this. I thought I could use it as a gift, but I kind of want to keep it. <laughs> that's so cute. It's Christmas and it's refillable and it came with a green pen. So I'm probably going to keep it. This, it came in a little uh, bag, which I will keep and reuse. I always reuse all that stuff. It helps me make my packages. I send people cuter. Um, but that was, they were each $2, so that was $4 that, um, for those cute little things. All right, the last last craft fair that I went to was at our agricultural building at our craft uh, fairgrounds. And the reason I went there is because there was supposed to be a beef jerky stall. But I walked all around it twice and could not find the beef jerky guy. <laughs> I guess he didn't show up or something. Um, or he was running late, maybe, because I got there super early. It opened at 10, and I got there right at 10. But I did buy a stocking for Jesse. <laughs> um, because we always... This is going to look horrible. But we always do Christmas stockings. from. That's what Santa fills up, the Christmas stockings. i got to be careful what Santa's right there. And then all the gifts under the tree is from Mommy and Daddy and, you know, Grandpa and Grandpa, everybody else. So, and normally it's hard to fill his stocking because it's little. So I bought one. This is going to look bad. But she was an older lady again who was handcrafting these things. Well, she probably machine, machine sold them, but you get the gist. <laughs> it's a big stocking. <laughs> It's a big giant stocking. Okay, here's the top of it. It's got two loops because it's so big. And here's the top of it. It's a big stocking. And see, my idea is not to put a bunch of expensive stuff in here. What I want to do is go and get a bunch of cheaper stuff. And we already got a bunch of uh, stockings that, uh, I had to watch what I'm saying. He's right in there, but I don't think he's listening to me. Well, I already have his, his other stocking full, so I'm going to transfer it to this, and then I'm going to buy some other little things just here and there to put in there. Cheap things. And the reason we do that is because when he gets old enough to go to school um we don't want like if my if his grandparents buy him an 80 dollar toy i don't want him to go to school and tell his little friend that he got this big expensive toy from santa <laughs> and then their friend you know if they come from a lower income family or something like that they didn't get anything but like a pair of shoes or something i don't i don't want that little kid to not believe in santa or think that santa doesn't care as much for it as it does Jesse. So that's why we wanted to do stocking gifts are from Santa only and then wrapped gifts are from family members. That way, uh, if he goes to school, he can say, oh, well, I got this one from my mommy and daddy, but Santa left me this and it'd be cheaper stuff that hopefully, you know, I don't want him to, you know, I just don't want other little kids to think that Santa doesn't care about them as much, you know, because there's a lot of families out there who can't afford to do extravagant things for their kids, if that makes sense. But I'm going to switch off that topic. Okay, mail time. <laughs> Alright, this wasn't in the mail. My sister gave me this, but she gave me her um, Christmas card. And I know she doesn't care because she's been in my videos and stuff as my nephew. And uh, I thought it was cute. A really cute card. And then I got one in the mail today from KB Fibers. It is Santa on his sleigh. I'm pretty sure I got one just like this the other day. <laughs> but now I have two of them, so woo! But I gotta put these in my stack over here to write the ears on. Alright, and then I got two packages. I was expecting this one. Like I knew it was coming. 
and it is from Trisha in Pennsylvania. I haven't opened it yet, so you guys get to watch me open the mail. Okay, it's gonna take me a minute. Let me try to get it open without messing it up. I'm not the best opener. Uh, card. Aww. That's so cute. It says warm wishes and it's like hot chocolate with cookies. I think I have another one that says warm wishes, but it's different. But it also has cookies on it, but it's different looking. Okay, I'm going to stop and read this for a second. Aww. That's such a sweet note. Thank you so much, Trish. And it says, um, her, uh, your only name? I wish we what does it call that? Is Trish Trish Trish's Oh, I just got a message, sorry. Trish's Creative Treasures. Oh, that's hard to say. <laughs> when I'm a tongue twister. Thank you so much, Trish. Alright, now for the goodies. Let's see what's in here. Candy things. I wonder what flavor those are. They're brown. Chocolate honey. Oh. oh, look at this little bag. Sounds stitch mercury. It looks stitch mercury. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're so beautiful. <laughs> There's a tree. Oh, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. This is why I don't open my mail on camera. Because <laughs> I'm a super emo. Oh, this is awesome. It's got a peace sign on it. It's upside down though, it's kind of weird. But I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> it's upside down. Hey, son. What's this song? A wreath. I love the dangly ones, too. Cause I love when it makes noise when I'm moving my project around and they're easier to find. And a snowflake. Is that facing the right way? Turn it around. And the, the, it looks kind of like a snowman. I guess that's the point. <laughs> and then this one. Oh, this reminds me of, like, Tiffany. Which I always, I'm going to get a Tiffany thing one of these days. I always told Devin, I'm going to get a Tiffany something one of these days. <laughs> I'm not a girly girl, but I want something in a Tiffany box. <laughs> Thank you so much, Trish. Okay, this little bag is staying with me. I'm never giving that to anybody. That is so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. Where did you get that bag? Oh, my gosh. You know, I bet it would be hard to make these. Cause you can buy um, twine at Hobby Lobby on a row. I'm gonna have to work on that because that's cute. I may have to like use this as my way of making those. Thank you so much, Trish. So <laughs> I tried, I almost cried, but I didn't. That's why I usually don't open my mail on camera because I'm an emotional person. All right, now this one I wasn't expecting. This one is from, it says CP. I won't know who it is until I open it. <laughs> from the UK. And I wasn't expecting this one at all. It kind of felt like yarn. Um, because, uh, you know, we don't get tracking for, uh, oh gosh, I'm almost afraid to open this stuff because I don't know if I'm going to accidentally cut something. Okay. Ugh, I have our time. Uh, a card in there. Oh, right on top. Oh, this is a big card. <laughs> to Ella and family. Okay, I'm going to hop off and read this real fast. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh. Devin's going to love this. He wants a wiener dog so bad. I had a wiener dog before. It was a wiener dog and a terrier mix. So it was, it had the wiener dog body, but it had terrier legs. So it was a little bit taller than a wiener dog and it was really furry. <laughs> so cute. It looks like it's C-E-L-I Selena. C-E-L-I-N-A Selena. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Oh, okay, I know who you are by your um, your YouTube name. I see your comments all the time. Oh, that's so cool. I just love this card. This is like the biggest card I've ever gotten. Look at that. It's as big as my head. I can't wait to show it to Devin. He's sleeping in because he's got to work the whole weekend. But, uh, he loves the wiener dogs. He's always talking about how he wants a wiener dog. So he's going to love it. All right, let's open it up. She said that there's uh, gifts for me and for Jesse in here. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Jesse got some stickers. He loves stickers. These are like, um, like poofy stickers. I don't know what these little things are. Doozers. Oh, they got little hard hats on. They're little construction 
people. <laughs> That's so cute. I'll give these to him in just a minute. And Christmas stickers. You can never have too many Christmas stickers. And it's, there's two sheets of these. And then she also sent me <laughs> a bag. Oh my god, this is a favorite for my mother-in-law. She always says bah humbug and is grinchy, but she's into Christmas once it actually gets here. But she sent me a reusable bag with a pug on it. Is that a pug? That's not a pug. That's one of those. So Boston, Boston Terriers, maybe? And it says bah humbug. <laughs> That is actually, it's a big old bag, too. Oh, goodness. I could use this today at the craft fairs. I usually take bags with me and I forgot to. Look at that, that's a big old bag. Ow, yeah. Alright, what else is in here? Oh, that's bubble wrap. <laughs> this is for Jesse. It's pencils with erasers. Christmas ones. Sparkly white yarns. What does it say? 97% acrylic, 3% M yarn. It's, I guess metallic yarn. So it's like Stellina or whatever. Uh, 310 meters. The color is a number. <laughs> They're beautiful. Thank you so much. Mm. Last but not least. If that's a note or if that's, oh no, that's just to uh, seal up a crack in a bomber bag. Okay. Chocolate. Oh my gosh. Ooh, these are these are UK chocolates. Cocoa lolly. Also, oh, they're like a sucker, chocolate sucker. Cool. She's in a whole bunch of these. There's six of them. Chocolate suckers. Hmm. Fair trade program. That's cool. That's so neat. I wonder if I'm going to have to dip into one of those in a little bit. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so excited. I got UK stuff. <laughs> I'm going to go give Jesse his stuff in just a minute. He's distracted right now. I'm also going to pop all this bubble wrap that's in here. I think that's everything. But thank you guys so much for everything that you sent. I'm sorry I, I didn't know how to say your name. <laughs> I'm really bad at pronouncing stuff. And it's hard for me to read cursive. I'm not the best at reading cursive. And you're, you didn't really write it in cursive. Maybe it's C E H. No, there's I in there. I don't know. I'm sorry. Can you tell me how to spell your name? Because <laughs> I can't read it good. But I know your username for YouTube. I see your comments all the time. Thank you so much. Oh, and you put the year in there yourself, so I don't have to do that. Woohoo! <laughs> but thank you guys for everything you send me. Jesse's going to love these suckers. I'm going to have to give him one in a minute. Well, I'm going to wait a little bit longer because it's only 11. But, all right, so that's all the mail. I gotta go wake up Devin here in a little bit. Just is talking. Devin has to work this weekend, so we won't be doing anything fun. Uh, we won't be getting out and doing what we normally do, you know, random stuff. But that's okay. I got a lot of stuff to do here. I gotta clean up my desk. Y'all can't see it, but it's again, which is really funny because I haven't even been in here much lately. But I'm going to maybe I should clean it up today. <laughs> I'm looking at everything. It's really bad. But I need to clean up my desk. I need to work on my Christmas lights for my sister. I'm going to try to get them done today. I'm about... I'm like to the halfway point, I think. So, I could probably get them done today. In case she comes up tomorrow. She might come up tomorrow or tonight, maybe. But, um, yeah. So, I'm going to hop off here. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, guys. Uh, it is almost 7 o'clock. I have it, um... Uh, recorded anything else today <laughs> i'm sitting here watching some uh, youtube videos and i made i finished all the light bulbs for my sister's strand and now i'm working on the little and hey, hattie i'm working on the little um does it work like your sister well she is my sister yeah but i don't work like it but turn I'm working on the topper things for the bulbs. I made one, so I gotta make nine more and then strand them together and they'll be done after stuffing them, of course, and sewing them together and all the jazz. <laughs> but um, I'm almost caught up on my watch later list. All that's left after um, Judy at Witch Piece, Witch Piece Craft is Hannah's new video. 
and I always try to watch them in order of the shortest one to the longest one. Jess is climbing on me. I can't show him. He's in his underwear. His underwear. He ate earlier and he got ketchup everywhere. <laughs> he is so messy. Because he, he, if he gets it on his hands or his mouth, he'll just he'll go and <laughs> get ketchup just everywhere. But I've been cleaning a lot today. I cleaned the kitchen. I cooked dinner earlier. I did two loads of laundry. And I will be folding three loads because I already had a load set in there. <laughs> I forgot about. So uh, I gotta go get Devin's clothes out of the dryer right now and hang them up. And uh, I got the microwave cleaned-ish. I ran it with vinegar for 10 minutes. And I'm going to wait. And uh, the bowl's still sitting in there while it's cooling, you know. Because I know it's still going to evaporate and all that stuff. But uh, I'm hoping that helps the smell. If that doesn't, I'll try the lemon thing that other people suggested. And I'm just going to keep trying stuff. Because that is still a good microwave. It still works. It's just some of the buttons don't work. So, like, if you want to microwave something for three... If you want to use numbers one, two, and three, you can't. You have to use higher numbers and just stand there and get it out, you know, early. <laughs> but, uh, which is fine, yeah. But, um, I'm hoping to finish these lots tonight because I don't, sometimes my sister comes over on Sundays. So I thought if she comes over, I can have this done for her. But I will take a clip of it if I finish it and share with you guys. Tomorrow is Sunday, the 8th. I don't take anything. I probably won't go anywhere tomorrow. Devin's got to work. If I go anywhere, it'll be Walmart to get some uh, fruit because I ate the last apple earlier. I used to buy bags of apples, but when we have a bag of apple, we never eat them all in time before they, they go bad. So I, lately, I just I buy them two or three at a time, and then when we eat those, I go back and get two or three more. So I need to go get some apples because I need just eat apples all the time. And maybe some bananas. Do you eat your bananas at Granny's? Nah. Nah. Well, we don't have any apples right now, but we'll go to the store and get some tomorrow, okay? I'm all I gotta get some chicken breast tomorrow, too. Because I'm almost out of chicken breast, and I need it to make a couple dishes. That's probably all bacon. <sighs> hmm. Today's Vlogmas has been boring. Vlogmas has been pretty boring, <laughs> anyways, because Devin's working so much. But next weekend is the parade and the Christmas party at Devon's work. I feel like there's something else next weekend. Pokemon Community Day. <laughs> but Devon will probably have to work most of next weekend. But there'll still be clips of what me and Jesse get into. And I'm planning on making some more bags this week, I think. Because of that vintage material I got, I want to go ahead and make some bags for it, with it. And I want to dig through my fabric stash and find some more to start making. Just to, just because I'm really kind of bored. <laughs> I don't have a lot of stuff to do a lot of the days. Um, there's only so much cleaning and crocheting I can do in a day. So I like going in there and sewing a little bit and then coming back in here and doing stuff. And um, You know, as I make bags, I can post them and uh, try to make extra Christmas money or whatever. I don't know. What, I want to work on some pattern designs that I got in my head. I have a notebook over here that I've been writing stuff down. I just haven't felt like actually sitting down and designing anything. So, I think I'm just going to take it easy the rest of December and uh, pick st everything back up full <laughs> full speed, full force, whatever, in January. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get off here though and edit this so I can get it up and go do that laundry and then just chill. I wish Jesse would go to bed early this morning, but I know he's not going to. <laughs> he stays up late all the time. Oh, I'm tired. I don't want to go to sleep. I'll see you guys in some clip tomorrow. Bye guys.